Washington Huskies are leaving Broadway behind. New York City is a distant memory, and now it's back home to Seattle for some hoops here on campus at the University of Washington. Tonight they take on the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos, hopefully without the assistance of the big fellow there in the uh, red and white uniform. Here at Alaska Airlines Arena, the Huskies have been very, very good. The spark plug to ignite the offensive engine will it be Roten or Gaddy to the exchange side. What happens here is Gaddy slides in. Nice pass. Good find to Roten. He'll lay it in with the left hand from the right side. That's a good find by Gaddy. Injai is missed right there because ordinarily you'd have that seven footer back there waiting to send that one back to him. Wilcox the pump fake. Two dribbles set up and knocks down the mid range jump shot. I like seeing that. 22 earlier in the week. He's a low, 6'9", 235. He comes out and closes out on Wilcox, but too late. And C.J. knocks down a three. He's already gotten in the paint for a couple of buckets. Washington has drawn a couple charges here early, but uh, Santa Barbara's been able to get into the paint whenever they want. Yeah, he comes right back. He attacks the body of Garth and scores and is fouled as we go to timeout. Santa Barbara suddenly got much, much taller with the 7'3", Samaji and the 6'7", Hornbuckle. Here's Wilcox at the point. Tosses cross court. Gaddy will tee up a three and bingo. Down that goes. That's what Washington can do. Rotation. This is Roden with it. Shaking the big man. Sliding in. A self check in the bottom of the rim. But Simmons the rebound. Laid it in. And the foul. Bosworth on the switch. Gives him a little bit too much space. Again, another one of the good shooters that Santa Barbara has on the roster. Six point run right now for the Gaucho. Boynick. One dribble. Double. Feeds off to Simmons for three. And that is good. Boy, that's all on the same page here. Roten drives, scoops, had it blocked, got it back, laid it up, rolls around and in. And that's one of the strengths of this game. He has that second jump and trying to figure some things out here, having trouble with the seven foot three Hungarian. And Jaime Cerna at 6'9 getting set to come in. Here's Simmons. They'll leave him alone and he knocks down the baseline jump shot. Kim Jr. in the lineup for the first time as uh, Washington looking for some answers on the inside. Roten drives in Side. Great battle in there between he and Cerna. It's been the, the guys coming off the bench or the starters with, with Johnson. I mean, they just have not been able to, to speed them up or to get them out of their offensive rhythm at all. Good defense, creating a turnover. Ross running out off the turnover. All night, as you saw, there was a lot of help there. So the guys on the on the perimeter are going to get some looks. Oh, Roten with a beautiful pass to Kemp. Fouled as he went up. So, Sean Kemp Jr. to shoot two. Well, you see here, Tony Tony Roden with the, the look away pass, which he's which he's known for. And Kemp, you, you like the pass. Well, Huskies dodge a bullet there as Samaja gets the, the offensive rebound. Roden drives into the lane, elevates over the 7-3. Samaji is fouled, but scores the bucket. And Washington gives Santa Barbara a little taste of their own medicine. As, uh, Santa Barbara's not recognizing that Roden is open on the wing there, and he's got a clear path to the basket, and he goes strong. And uh, Samaji gets him on the way up. And uh, Roten, where he's had some struggles, is at the free throw line with a chance for the three-point play. Same thing. I mean, these guys are beating each other up, that being Santa Barbara for offensive rebounds. Roten, the one-two, what a play by Tony Roten. Bringing it hard to the right side. Gaddy in for the Huskies. He'll run the point now as Roten goes to the bench. Gaddy sizes up Hornbuckle and throws a jumper over him straight away. And he creates some space with that. Thinking that it was Pitt. Not only with the, uh, the jumper. Here's Gaddy, another three. Same spot. Abdul Gaddy knocks down another three. He's in a nice rhythm. I mean, he's making that for three. Too strong off the back rim. Simmons with a rebound. Ross set it up. Nope, they'll go right back to the rim. Swoops in, missed it. Roten from the weak side, hovers at the 10 and slams it down. Well, he's been active. He, he's been active all night. And, a new, new. and Santa Barbara comes out and uses that against him with the back cut. Gauchos by six. Gant a three. Nailed it. Way to a five and two mark. Along with Francis Williams, Jen Mueller, Kevin Calabro on hand here at Alaska Airlines Arena. And the Huskies start with Simmons and Gant up front. Gaddy and Ross and Roten as Wilcox will come off the bench. Roten starts things with a nice slithering drive along the end. second bucket of the night. Bucket of the night. It's a four-point lead for the Gauchos. In comes Gaddy. Beautiful drive in the lane. After a cross-court whip to Gaddy. Pumps it inside to Gant. Darnell. Back to nice. box. Reverses with a left hand. Rebound up and in. Pass broken up by 
Simmons. Tony Roden with it. Fades and drives and delivers a left hand jam. Sailing to the cup. But Roden, he's so slick with that left. But Roden, where he's been all night at the rim. Nice ball fake. The C's part. And it's a dunk. on the road for 12 days and they leave here and play Cal another Pac-12 opponent so this would be a huge win if they were able to pull this off. Taylor jabs away but Roden got it back spins in got airborne and is flattened but scores and that's an area where Roden is so impressive is with his strength to be able to play through contact. You see here the seven foot three Samaji waiting on him there's contact in the body but he's able to to just ward that off and play through it. But you got to find your teammates, especially when you got a guy like Wilcox, you got, uh, you know, Terrence Ross. Those guys have got to be involved in the offense. So I think he's done a The team rebound and the timeout with 11.15 to play in this one. It's a good one. Huskies 58, UC Santa Barbara 57. Joining us is he's that guy, the seven footer, out for the next two to three games. This is lost in the post. And a nice soft touch, he rolls it in. Roden fades off the screen. Roden gets a switch, he's got a small one on him. Shoots the three and got it. There it is, Tony Roden now with 25 points as a career high from beyond the arc. Gaddy doubled to Gant, rotating to Ross for three. In it goes. Terrence Ross. As it goes down on the block, he gets a couple buckets down. Fan the lead here, they're up five. Gaddy, skipping dribble into the paint, takes Hornbuckle deep and laid it in. Nice move. Well, between Captain one remaining. And Orlando Johnson going to work. Over dribbled, Rose forced him into the turnover, turned him to Simmons, to the glass, laid it in. Nice play by Desmond Simmons and Tony Roden. Well, Tony Roden up down there and hit a couple of step back fadeaways off the glass, which was fine. That's a part of his game. But it seems like as the game has gone on, he's drifted further and further away from the basket. Uh-oh, Ross steps back and drills a three off the screen. 15-foot stripe and missed the jumper. Simmons with a hustle play and a reset of the shot clock for Washington. Gaddy dives in, missed the shot, gave the recovery, puts it in, and a foul. And the Huskies take the lead. Well, that's one of the two. UC Santa Barbara led at half 47 to 44. They were down 10, and within a minute and a half, came back late in this game on a 10 0 run and put Johnson at the free throw line, tied at 77. And as Francis just mentioned, he looks the free throw. The rim, in fact, in uh, three of their first seven or so possessions. They turned it over, the Gauchos did. When they went to the rim with such veracity, they charged. Yes. Uh, turnovers, ultimately, I think, is what uh, Bob Williams and the staff will look at. 16 of them here tonight. This is a good ball club, though. Very good ball club. Yes, and, and they only had seven turnovers at the half. And, and, you know, I think they would have lived with that, but uh, now they have nine in the second, and that ultimately is going to be their own doing, like you said. But, uh, you know, they leave here and go play Cal. Uh, that'll be a good matchup. Johnson the other way, put it off the foot, and it rolls out of bounds, and that will be that. With one and six, ten seconds remaining, the Huskies go through the formality of bringing it in bounds, and they will go to five and four on the year. 87-80. Roten with 27 points, a career high. Gaddy 17, ties a career high. Ross had 16. Johnson with 24 points to lead the Gauchos tonight to go to five and three on the year. One and one on the road. And the Huskies are over the 500 mark. And now have won 32 straight here at home in Seattle against non-conference teams. Well, the home court's been good to Washington for, for many years, and uh, they needed the home court advantage tonight because uh, Santa Barbara, uh, they came in on a mission, and they almost pulled it off. And the dean of the Pac-12 coaches, down his 10th year, Lorenzo Romar realizes his 200th coaching victory here at Washington. Congratulations to Lorenzo Romar, who's led the Washington program to six NCAAs, currently at three straight and counting.